So what made you choose to be a punter? <laughs> um, you know, I actually, a lot of people, a lot of people know, but some people don't. I was actually a kicker before I was a punter. Um, playing soccer my entire life, I just kind of had that ability, that foot-eye coordination. Um, you know, I, I had some uh, some power in my leg when I was when I was little playing soccer, and that's what I grew up doing. I didn't play any other sports. I didn't play basketball or baseball. And um, about fifth grade, I started uh, kicking and playing flag football, and you know, I got kind of good at it, and I enjoyed it. And so. Eighth grade was my first year of tackle football for my city back home in Florida. And it was one of those things where my dad was like, you know, why don't, why don't you do it from a soccer background and started kicking. And then I just kind of molded uh, my, my kicking style into my punting. Um, and I just was, I was able to do both and yeah. Do you ever practice field goals just in case? I do, I do. I mean, I still have it in the bag if, if need be. You know, in case of an emergency, because you know, some, you know, freak things happen sometimes, and you got to kind of be prepared. But I don't, I don't hit too many, just because it kind of messes with the, the leg swing, and you know, you're using muscles that I haven't used in a long time. Uh, you know, since like my my rookie year uh, coming out of college. So um, I do every now and then. Yeah, we got two more. Yeah. Uh, who is the funniest guy on the team, and why? Who's the funniest guy on the team? Um, Funniest guy on the team, I think, would probably have to be Greg Olson. Um, I think because his personality is so vibrant, you know, and he's he's uh, he's loud and he's you know rambunctious and he's you know he knows just kind of those one-liners, those witty responses, you know, that just nobody really expects, but all of a sudden it comes out and everyone's just dying laughing and um, you know it's it's a a joy to have him in the locker room just to keep things light and, and making jokes and give everybody a hard time and favorite place to eat in charlotte wow favorite place to eat in charlotte um it doesn't eat out i'm gonna have to say uh i'm gonna have to say cowfish yep cowfish in, in south park that's uh one of me and my wife's favorite uh places to go when we when we go on a date and it's uh it's a nice place you, you definitely don't go home hungry, that's, that's for sure.